Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jim Fenzel. Uh, if you're playing for me, you can call me Coach Fenzel or Coach Jim or just Coach. Uh, and with a few weeks to go before the start of the season, I wanted to talk to you a bit in this first video about catching. The game of lacrosse is much more fun the better you are at catching. Uh, as Kathy Reese, the uh, head coach of the Maryland Terrapins, a three-time National Coach of the Year, a five-time national champion, as head coach says, if you can't catch, you can't play. Um, now, don't let that make you nervous or anxious about your own ability to catch or not catch a lacrosse ball at this stage. Um, what that really underscores is A, how important catching is in the game, and B, how difficult of a skill it is to learn and to master. And even the best players in the world are never done practicing catching. Um, so whether you are a new lacrosse player, new to the game this year, if so, welcome to a great sport or if you've played for a few seasons, um, what we're gonna go through here today uh, will benefit you as the beginner or as an experienced player. So in this video, we're going to catch in three different ways. We're gonna catch with our bare hand. We're going to catch with either just the head of a stick or here I've got a, a shaft sawed off. Um, so you can still use the proper grip in your upper hand, but you're just focusing on that catch, a little less intimidating than using the full stick. And also with our full lacrosse stick, um, we'll practice our catching. Throughout the course of this, you'll hear me say that you wanna have soft hands, you wanna have loose, relaxed arms. You need to keep your eye on the ball. And even as you catch, we're going to direct not only our eyes to that ball, but our nose, put it right on there. Catch the ball in front of you. That's a very easy thing to remember when you're catching with your hands. You know, I'll see everybody stick their hands out in front to catch it. However, sometimes when people are given a lacrosse stick, Instead of keeping it out in front, they keep it to the side. They don't want that ball ricocheting off the cross and hitting them. So it's over here, All right? It is very difficult to catch anything behind you. We wanna have the stick out in front so we can see that ball come right in. We can see the back of our stick and the ball the whole time. All right, so let's get started with uh, a few partner activities. Now for this drill, we are using some soft rubber lacrosse balls that we got from Dick's. Not real lacrosse balls, but a cushionier, lighter rubber version. There are other things you can use as well. You could use a real lacrosse ball, but those tend to break things especially if you're indoors or near windows. Uh, you could use a tennis ball. And as you catch it, try to see if you can cushion just with that cupped hand and not so much grab the ball. Follow it all the way in with your eyes and your nose and just sort of hold it at the end, pointing your nose right at that caught ball. Follow right with your eyes, point the nose right at it and hold it there for a second. Yeah. Next, we're going to continue to catch the light underhand tosses, but just with one hand on our stick. Um, doing it with this solid off short stick. You could also do it just with your regular stick. They're not that heavy, but we're just doing one hand so that we concentrate still on that nice soft cushion and keeping the stick out in front, we're still just catching that light underhand pass. Uh, what we do want to do though is have the correct grip. Um, this is how a lot of early lacrosse players 
hold the stick just in a fist. If you're in a fist, it's really tough to give it a good amount of cushion with your wrist. Whereas if you turn that grip a bit, it's a lot easier. And you'll see that with catching, throwing, and cradling. Um, another thing early lacrosse players do, stick the stick right down in your palm and hold it like a hammer or some sort of mallet or baseball bat. You don't wanna do that. We wanna hold it out in our fingers where we hold on loosely. We have it in our fingers and not in our palms. Good, but don't, don't lean back. Cushion it with your hand and your, yeah, like that. So have your knife, your arm nice and loose. Yeah, and just feel what you need to do to cushion it with this pocket. It's gonna be a little bit tougher than catching with your hand. Good, and follow through with that nose and eyes and look right at it. Get your arm a little bit looser, a little more out in front of you. Good. Try to do it with a smile on your face. All right, nice and loose, nice and comfortable. Good. Enjoy yourself. Good job. All right, from here, then we're going to move on to doing it with the full stick. As we're just starting, it's good to choke up a little bit on the stick. So you can have that top hand closer to the head of the stick, especially when we're doing this activity where your partner is throwing you balls right up by your ear. As we get better at catching, we'll actually want to pull our hands down toward the end of the stick, but still shoulder width apart. Don't start to pull the stick back until it's the ball is there. Yeah. Let it hit and then cushion it. That's all right. That, that you started moving it first. So thanks so much for watching this first video. Uh, feel free to email me with any questions uh, about catching or anything else re lacrosse related. And very excited to see you all at practice.